Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming my September TBR where I'm going to talk about the books I am hopefully going to read in September. Because last month it happened, it happened to me <laughs> for the first time ever. I failed my monthly TBR and it hasn't happened with me before. I'm now mortal, I am now like everyone else. I might as well just lay down in a grave because I'm not special anymore. I, I wanted to be not like other girls and now I am. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. August became a bit wild, so I didn't get to complete my TBR. Actually, I just moved some books around, so there was two prompts I didn't finish. So because of that, we are doing two extra rolls in my TBR game as a punishment. I don't know if a punishment is a good way to like make sure I complete my next TBR, but it was really because the favorite vlogs were haunting me. I had to read books for Spiff Box, and I don't think it will happen again. We're doing some punishment rolls. I'm also doing Magical Readathon, and I tried to to make the rules in my TBR game a magical readathon somehow match a bit. I'm going for Alchemist and Magical Readathon, which is the hardest one because I always like to be the most powerful one in stuff like that. I don't know why I did stuff like that, but like in RPG stuff, I want to be the most powerful one because I'm power hungry. Without further ado, we're gonna do our rules, we're gonna talk about the books, and then I'm gonna mix them with Magical Readathon, and it will all make sense. So let's do our first roll. Let the pandas tumble. This chair is an even. Three. Four. Zero panels following. For our first roll, we did get five poles, but zero panels fell. So let's do our second roll. Roll number two. Oh, I lost it. Four. Let's see. One. Three. Four. Zero panels falling. For our second roll, we had four pulls and zero panels fell. So let's do our third roll. Roll number three. Two. One. This is a bad idea, but we are doing it. Two. Zero panels falling. For our third roll, we had two pulls and zero panels fell. So let's do our fourth roll. Roll number three. Ooh. Four. I don't like these numbers. One, two, th three, I'm really clearing out everything here. Four is this one. This is a bad, bad idea. It doesn't want to get out. <gasps> That was four, and we got one panda following. A single little sweet panda. I feel like I did really well this time. I knew I had punishment rolls. I was being very careful. But for a fourth roll, we did have one panda following, which was, I was going to say, that was about time. And we got, I'm itching on my nose, 
seek, which is to read a sequel. And <laughs> this is a bit like, mm, because I am going to read for that adult rights by Octavia, Octavia, sorry, E. Butler, which I was supposed to read in June for my Patreon read along, but it's been a bit pushed back because of stuff. So we are now reading this now in September. We like basically just pushed the whole read along two months. So I'm reading this even though it was in theory on the TBR, but not for prompts. It's not not a fail. It was on my TBR in June in theory. But here we are, and I'm very, very excited because I really, really did enjoy Dawn. But it is a sequel, so it definitely counts for this prompt. For the chance that I don't read this after all, because maybe life kicks my ass one more time. It's like a new not a new thing, but like when I did revamp a bit in this game, I can obviously choose other books for the prompts if I read something else that hits throughout the month so that I'm not completely locked in and I feel shitty. So yeah, it's uh, one that I will complete anyway. Either way, that was a lot of babbling. Let's go to our fifth row, which normally would have been our last one. Roll number five. Oh, was two. I don't even know. One. Okay, okay. Two. So we had three panels falling, which is great. It's great. So normally this wouldn't have been great because we would have only had four pandas, you know? And we got two poles and three pandas fell. So we have Gale, which is to read a queer book. We are gonna read Fake uh, Dates and Mooncakes by Shirley, which is like a super, super cute book. I'm also reading this for Magical Readathon, which is, this is very difficult because the letters are very, very, very small. Why did I write it like this? Where is it? Yes, this is for one of the alchemy classes, which is culinary transmutation, and it's food on the cover. And it was so hard for me to find a book with food on the cover. I, like, I have 550 books, and not a single one has food on the cover. But here, they're like, they're, like, eating the mooncakes things, right? That's some food. So I'm counting that one, so I got two prompts in one. Yay! I apparently forgot that I'm also reading Adderhold Rights for another alchemy class. That is Chemical Breakdown, which is to read a book that will make you emotional. And I do definitely think that this will make me emotional because the first book made me very emotional. So I'm sure that the second book will as well. Yes. And then we have, I'm really sorry for looking at my phone all the time, but I don't know this by heart, okay? We have a Sasha, which is to read a Norwegian book. Um, I have several, I have actually many Norwegian books I need to read. But I like to do one that is not translated, that's actually Norwegian. Actually, it's this. Is this? <laughs> I just realized, I didn't check if this... Yes, this is actually in Norwegian. And we have Kvinna som Isalena, or Women That Travel Alone, by Connie Barr. So we got this in the bookstore when I was working, and I thought it looked really interesting. And then I wanted to read it and put myself on the waitlist for the book. And now the waitlist is much longer, and I was one of the first when I got it, as a waitlist as in, in the library. And this expires, I think, in like eight days, seven days. So I need to read this now, and I cannot renew it, because obviously other people are waiting for it. So since I need to read it, since I got the Norwegian prompt, it is perfect for that. And I'm gonna read it. And that's what I got to say. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. I think it's about women traveling alone. Something, something. It looked like a interesting novel. If I will enjoy it, I have no idea. Was this for something else as well? It was not. Then the last prompt for this 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 role was Jess, which is to read a Thursday book, aka a smutty one. And I am maybe reading, this sounds very skeptical, but I am thinking I need to read The Ashes and the Star Cursed King by Carissa Broadbent. So I have the first one and I didn't personally like love it, but I might be relevant for my thesis. I might need to read it. But then I feel like I should reread number one and I don't really want to do that. So I might read something completely else that is smutty just to complete this prompt. I haven't completely decided, but this is like the placeholder for that book. But it's also because for Magical Readathon, I have another alchemy. This is for the Q grade. It's this component reconstruction, which is a book that it was traditionally published after being self-published. And as we know, the Serpent of Wings and Night was self-published. I do believe the second book as well. And then they are now being traditionally published. And I couldn't come up with a single other option 
for this prompt than that book. So I, I might need to read it to complete magical readathon. But if I reread the first book, I might do that. It depends a bit of what I decide. Now I completed all my alchemy classes at least, somehow. Oops, oops, I'm I'm really messing up this document right now. Now we're going into roll number six, aka punishment roll number one. <laughs> so roll number six, aka punishment roll number one. We got one! Okay. This one. I feel like it's a bad idea. This one then. No, this one. No. Uh, I'm taking this. This is bad. It was bad. That was one. We got one panel falling. I can't get it out. I'm scared. I'm scared going out. So there's one panda. And for punishment roll number one, we got one pull and one panda foul. So for this, we got Levi, which is to read a manga. And I usually pick omnibus mangas for this prompt. I haven't read the omnibus manga since May, when I'm supposed to read one a week. <laughs> I don't want to think about that either. I'm very behind in a lot of things, which is, you know, granted not that good for me, but I will put one on my TBR and then I might actually probably read that one at least in September. It was really because of the February vlog. I messed up everything reading and YouTube wise for like three months. The next one I need to read is 16, 17, and 18. I do believe this is Omnibus Volume 6, and there's only nine. So, like, I was supposed to finish this, I think, in June. Here we are. And yeah, it will be a video about it. I am excited to travel back into the format of the Alchemist world. It has been now, you know, as I said, three months, which is way too long, but yeah, I'm excited. And then we are going into our final role, which is role number seven or punishment role number two, because there were two books on the TBR I didn't complete and I didn't even say which ones. Role number seven, punishment role number two. It's three. That's one. Oh, that's two. That's two. Can we do this, guys? That's three. And we only get one more panda. What is going on? Uh, one more panda dropped. And that was it for the rolls, because no more punishment. Yay! We got one panel of following for that role where we got three poles. And I just just steen and I just read a fantasy romance. And I realized I just <laughs> I don't I can't decide what to read. Okay, so I have picked out Don't Lose Your Pants Now. Oh, I'm carrying the whole set. Twilight. And you know, Twilight is a fantasy romance. Because fantasy romance just means a fantasy romance is it. It is a paranormal romance, but still a fantasy romance. And I need to read Twilight for my thesis, at least the first book. If I need to read the rest, we haven't decided 100%, but I am gonna read the first book like soon, like this week or like early next week, depending on deadlines. I had to get this down for my Twilight, I was gonna say storage, where I have all the other books. And uh, this is my English hardback set. And uh, I'm kind of terrified, kind of excited. It's been a few years, but even though like, obviously I did read Minat Sun when I was out. And I don't know, as I said, if I'm gonna need to read all of them again, but I need to at least read the first one. So yeah, that is my uh, fantasy romance pick. Is someone gonna yell at me and say that Twilight is not a fantasy romance? I don't know. But I also managed to put this in Magical Readathon for Restoration Rerun Time, favorite author's debut book. And it was just really hard because like, I have several obviously favorite author. I don't consider Stephanie Meyer a favorite author of mine especially after like the recent years, etc. But she used to be my favorite author and this is her debut book. So I was stretching the prompt a bit to read that one because I don't know what else to read for the prompt and I need to read Twilight. So it's a reread of a previous favorite author's debut book. I am pulling it, I'm pulling it. But that was all of the Tumbling Panda prompts. If you wonder what I didn't read last month, uh, because I was supposed to show you before I talked about the roles. I didn't read Mengele Su by Gat Co. I need to obviously now read it for this month, because I didn't read it for last month. And I also didn't read, oh, 
everything is falling. A Dance of Dragons and A Night of Seven Kingdoms, which was for one prompt. Since it was one prompt, I gave myself one punishment roll instead of two. I didn't read these either. I was planning to, but it just... Uh, Favorite vlog, Smith vlogs, that is literally my reasons. So yeah, I need to read those at a point in a month. <laughs> and now we have the rest of the Magical Reader Pom Pom to prompt. There's many of them. I think it's, I have like 16. Can I count? I don't even know. Or oh, more. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I gave up counting. So we have Animal Studies, which is Phoenix Keeping, which is a reader book with a phoenix on the cover. And I don't, I can't find anything else but Crown of Feathers on my TBR. And I actually read this before and I actually really did end up liking it. And I was very shocked by that fact when I read it. And I uh, put two and three on my TBR like 14 times. So not like an official TBR, but like some TBRs, etc. And I just never got to them or I switched them out with something else at the point. And I, I have the whole series and I actually really enjoyed it for the vibe fantasy it was. I just never got to dress. It's like Phoenix Riders, it's really cool. I, I was thinking that I should read the second book, but now I kind of been to reread the first and I will probably just audiobook it. Apparently that's how I get through vibe fantasy these days. I cannot read it physically. I just need to audiobook it and then I enjoy it much more. So I'm gonna audiobook the first one and then maybe throughout the month audiobook second and third like soonish after so then I can complete all the series. But it definitely completes the prompt. Then we have Astronomy, which is Constellation Cradle book released on in your birth month and I think I will read this I want to switch it out A Crane Among Wolves by June Her. this was released in May this year and May is my birthday month and this is like another historical Korean fa uh, not fantasy but a historical Korean thriller mystery murder thing and I enjoyed the other books by the author very excited to see how I enjoyed this one and the covers are absolutely stunning I do know that like this is a fast read etc so I do think I can fit it in but if not I will find something else if I randomly read something else, I just release in my birth month. Then it was all the alchemy classes, which I have done. And the next one is Inscription, the old grade, which is Art of Deci Decipher, titles as all the letters in your first name. And I will honest to God say that I have gone through all of these titles and not a single book has all the letters of my first name. My name is Sandra, if you didn't know, and I cannot for the life of me, like all the books that was options for my TBR, like all the books that was not here, I cannot find one, like unless like I haven't looked through all of the books on my TBR, but books I wanted to read initially, none of them have all the letters of my first name. I'm very frustrated, I'm very annoyed, and I don't know what to do. So this one, I haven't picked out anything yet. If a title shows up in your brain right now, please write it down below to me and I would check it out if that is something I want to read this month but I cannot look like, seriously find a book that has all my is it six letters in my name yes and it's just super annoying because obviously since it says title I'm not counting the author name so I'm just counting the actual title letters and I just cannot find a book so I will do this prompt at the point when I'm in panic the last two days of the month and I need to find something ASAP that fits but hopefully something will just show up randomly and I will walk throughout the month so you will know. So the next one is inscription again and then with Q grade ink pigmentation color wheel for title color and I was going to do a color wheel and I realized I haven't downloaded that on my new phone and I need to get my old phone and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Can I just download the color wheel like right now? And um, now it's spinning. Oh god, it's making noise. I didn't take off the noise. Shh, shh. Yay! Okay, so we got orange. We got orange. Now I need to find a book with an orange color title. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I just effed myself so hard. I don't have a book with an where the letters in the title are orange. This was like the hardest thing in the world. I do think I maybe found something if we are counting it. Because was it the title on the spine or like the cover? Or can we count both? It says color wheel of title color. So it doesn't say where. But I found The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Brad Durst. And I read the first one, was it earlier this year? And I actually quite enjoyed it. I listened to the audio, so I might listen to the audio of this as well. But look, it has like orange on like some of the letters in the in the title. And it also has it on the spine, like the same. And like, I don't know how well you can see the colors right now, but like it is orange. I'm calling it orange. So I'm counting this one and we're doing that one. And then we are just like forgetting this. We are just moving on. I, I know that you agree. That took ages. Oh my God, the next one. I <laughs> It's also inscription, which is credit at Keith, book by an author and a recent five star reads acknowledgements and I remember I checked my recent five star read which was part of your world by Abby Imenes and it was no authors mentioned 
in the acknowledgements. And then apparently I forgot to check my Pfizer read before that because it barely had any Pfizer reads this year. So it was just really, really hard for me to find anything. But wait, I couldn't find any author name in another five star read either. I need to go on a bigger hunt for this, which apparently I didn't have ready right now because I forgot. But I will let you know in a vlog <laughs> what this becomes because honestly, it was a bit difficult. But we're doing spells and incantations, charm, dancing stars, five star prediction. I hate five star predictions because I never give anything five stars. So I'm just gonna do like an easy one where I'm doing yours truly by Abby Imanes because I gave part of your royal five stars, but I also heard that that is like the best one, but I also heard that this is the best one. So there's potential for five star in this, but I don't know if the author will manage to grip me as she did with Danielle <laughs> in part of your world. But since I gave the first one five stars i am like predicting it to be this one and i mean it's only a prediction and doesn't mean it needs to be true then it was about an incantations q spell memory clip book shown in any of my videos which was i assume g's videos and i checked out a video where she held up beach read it was not Beach Read, it was another book. <laughs> I was like, this is the wrong book. I took the wrong Emily Henry off my shelf. It was Book Lovers. And I'm a mood for romance, a mood for cute Emily Henry. I only read one and I've been wanting to read the rest for ages and I have liked the rest. So I feel like that was a good excuse. It was in G's in one of her recent book calls. And I was like, yay. Then it was Twilight, which I already shown you. And then it was Demology, The Unfamiliars, Person Who Does Not Read, Sus a book that you should read. So I asked one of my friends that I know doesn't read <laughs> what books I should read. And they have been yelling at me to read this because it's one of the books his girlfriend has read. And I bought it because of them and then I just never read it and I've been on my shelf forever. So now you of course said that title, which is Sluten or The End by Matt Stamberg. I do believe it's actually translated. And this is like, you find out that the world is gonna end in like a month or something. And then um, we follow a teen. So I feel like the concept is cool. If I would enjoy this kind of YA at this time of my life, I had no idea, but now I'm gonna actually read it after all this time and we just see how it goes. <laughs> Then it is lore class, which is the Q grade, Illyrian history, vampire book. Oh my god, I forgot this one as well. I am a mess. So a vampire book could have been Twilight, but I put Twilight in for the favorite author thing because that was easier. And I need to read also for my thesis, Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. I just got this. Very excited to see if that is something I will enjoy or if I will be completely lost. I always wanted to read it. And now I have at least the first one. I know it's 13 books. So that is a thought, but I thought I could buy it since it was my thesis, even though normally I would have preferred maybe borrowing it. And now we have lore, which is a lost class, thank God, <laughs> but which is regional interpretations translated book. I have many, many, many that can count for this. I have a couple from the library that I might read instead of Untold Night and Day by Bay Sua or Ba Sua, which I've just been curious about and I had it. And it's a really, really short book that I feel like I can get done really fast, translated from Korean. But I have a lot of other books like from my library that maybe gets priority that are translated for like different languages. So I might read one of those and put them in for this instead. And yeah, that was a lot of things. I also need to read The Vampire, again for my thesis, by John Polidori, which is like one of the first vampire stories. This is translated to Norwegian. Could actually count this one in instead for that. It is super, super short with ginormous letters, but it's kind of relevant. I do wonder if this is like the full book or if it's like a shortened version. Need to maybe check that out before I like count it for my thesis. But yeah, I need to kind of read that too, but it's very short, so I'm sure it will be fine. But we also need to pick out from the gum machine. Oh my god, there's so much. But this is because I didn't pick out one for August. I was going to do it in the vlogs, but didn't have time. And then we also need to pick out one for September. So we're going to take two, and gum machine is for my patrons in the highest tier, to pick out the book that I'm going to read. I saw a note fall down. Is it going to come out? This happens every time. I just have a really shitty machine, I think. Even though I got a new one and everything. Come on. Ooh, it came. It came. Come here. Come here. So this, we can pretend this from August. Since I never got to pick one out then. Because I forgot, but also would never have had time. So, ooh, okay. So this is Erica's pick. And I know what she has picked. I will get it. So when Erica picks books for this, she is, does have the privilege of being in my room. And then like picking 
<laughs> for myself. And she was just like, Bridget's on. Instantly. This is the first book in the series. And the way that like, I never want to read them, but then Bath is set for Million Crypt because it was pretty. And now I kind of feel like I have to read it because I'm old them. I'll probably again, borrow it at the library and not read it in this. And do I have I feel like I don't have time. The pile here just became really big, but we are going to deal with that at another point in my life. So that was Erica's pick, which is the Duke and I first Bridgerton book. So now we're going to do another one. Ooh, 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 ooh. It fell and flew. So this is a guess for September. What does it say? It says Aslug! And Aslug's pick, I know this by heart as well. I didn't show you the notes, but I guess you believe me. Oh, it's over there. Everything is just like everywhere right now. Aslug's pick is Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty, which is the second book in the Devil Bard trilogy. I do really hope this is the second. Yes, it is. And she bought me this actually, even though did she buy me the all of them or did I already have number one? I don't remember, but she got me them and she said that her pick is this because this is her favorite in the series. And I actually did reread the first one this year and I enjoyed it much more than the first time I read it. So in my head, I'm now gonna enjoy this. And I'm kind of excited for it to consider the fact that the first time I read it, I didn't enjoy myself at all. I, I wanna show you the pile of books, but I don't know how I'm struggling. It's like a lot, but it's Twilight is anyway. Like, there's only one Twilight book, not the whole set. But, like, how many books do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, or something. The books are falling while I'm counting them. I feel like that is alone a problem here. Hello, stop falling. Oh my god, help! I'm literally losing them. But yeah, I have audiobooks to finish. Uh, there was like one book, for example, I started on audio, but I didn't get to finish it in a month. So I switched it out with another book, so I completed the prompt. So yeah, something like that. I don't even know what I'm saying, honestly. And there was another book I finished the 1st of September, so I just counted that as finished, even though it wasn't within the month. Like, I I know no one cares about this, but I feel like I cheated. I need to, like, confess my sins to you or something. But overall, we got two punishment rolls. We are completing Magical Readathon. I just need to find books with letters in my name and a five-star acknowledgement thing, which I will try to remember the best I can. And then complete all the others. I am hoping to do more frequent vlogs in September now that all the other crazy projects I had are over. And I have some other reading plans I do want to do in the month, but it seems now very unlikely it's gonna happen, but who knows? But yeah, that was it for my September reading. I went a bit overboard, I feel like, than I was initially planning when I started to film this video. But thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for being here. And I hope you enjoyed this very long TBR and you should see me soon in a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.